So uh, I'm Andre, and <laughs> nice to meet you. Uh, I've been working in digital marketing for the last eight years. I've been a copywriter. I've uh, done a lot of IT projects and working with Julie since Dubrovnik, right? With Andre number one. With Andre number one. Yeah, I'm number two, actually. He met us, and we have had a great partnership yeah. since then. So I would like to thank you for inviting me here to present, yes, Croatia, wine, and a box. Yes. So uh, let's give you a short overview of uh, the world wine market. And it's around 131 billion euros, uh, the market of wine in the EU and the United States, with almost half-half uh, the division. It's been growing around 5%. Uh, with the yearly growth, and it's expected to continue with that. And what has COVID brought, it's um, a new trend of digitalizing and selling wine online, with wine being 70% of the alcoholic beverages sold uh, online. So, and there, that is one of the trends happening now. The other ones, it's people want new exotic flavors, new exotic wines. They want to find new taste, new flavor in wines. They don't just want industrial Italian wine or industrial uh, French wine, even though they're good, but they want something new. And they have started experimenting with the flavors. Uh, one company in the US created a wine with the taste of cheeseburger, but I'm not sure if that's good enough and who would want to drink that, but yeah, it, it's happening. And people currently now are uh, <laughs> yeah, trying to, what they did 300 or 400 years ago, combining different sorts of wines to get flavors that are fruity and a bit round and different, to have them and to innovate the flavors. Uh, the transition of that has brought to the, the biodynamic production of wine. So without using artificial ingredients like yeast to help with the fermentation or um, different her uh, herbicides and to, that are not good enough to, for nature and are not sustainable. So we have, we have seen that the transition is going online and the US is being good at better than Europe with uh, a lot of companies going selling on wine online, but it's just brick and mortar going online. You just don't have enough innovation in that sector. And now uh, I will start speaking about something more beautiful. Uh, it's Croatia, Dubrovnik, King's Landing, or the FT 2018, depends what you uh, like more. So it's a very nice uh, old city, nature in Croatia. If you don't like Dubrovnik, you, you have islands, thousand islands. Some of them shaped like hearts, some like fishes. But it's, it's not only that in Croatia. We have a lot more wine regions, not only in the Dalmatia and the coast, but also in the uplands and the lowlands with uh, great plains, with different uh, kind of soils and different kind of grapes. Uh, you can see here uh, different. So this is a Dingac. Uh, it's hard a bit to pronounce for foreigners, but it's the steepest uh, wine yard in this part of Europe. So, and they only use uh, donkeys to transport all of the, the grapes while picking it. And they don't use any um, other materials like tractors or like mechanization because it's, uh, it's not possible. Um, so, uh, Croatia has more than 130 indigenous uh, grapes wines, uh, grape sorts, but currently only 30 are being used for wine production extensively. And we want to change that because uh, you all know Zinfandel, yeah, the Californian wine. Actually, its origins are in Croatia, in Kastela, near Split. It's called Kastelanski Crljenak, the wine sort that was brought to Italy to make Primitivo, and then it went to California and it became uh, Zinfandel. Uh, so uh, out of all varieties, there are 30 of them that have a different taste, a great terroir. So the land where they're being grown, they've been here for almost 
150 years, 300, 500, almost 1,000 years, like the sword called Gurk, uh, that means Greek, from uh, the island of uh, Korchula. It was brought by the Greeks 2,000 years ago, and it's still there. And yet there's only uh, 50 acres of it and 500 bottles produced per year. And the flavors are amazing. They're totally different to the wines we got used to uh, drinking because the, they're using everything from the land. They've been there for 2,000 years using all the minerals and creating totally different wine source that we are used, used to and flavors. So um, those wines got huge amount of recognition on the Canter Awards. They got three platinum, uh, 11 gold ones, and a ton of other medals. So it looks like you only need to send the Croatian wine and to get the medal at the Canter. And you would ask yourself, why is that a problem? Why don't you drink more Croatian wine? Well, the problem is that the producers don't know how to approach the market. And even though the consumers want different wine, different wine varieties, and they can offer that, they don't know how to do that. And that's why we are here. So we will tell the story about Croatian wine from the start, from the wine here to the, to the, to the glass. Okay, um, our idea is to create a Croatian uh, wine box, the online subscription model where you would directly get wines in a box from the winemakers. They would only need to focus on producing the wines and we would do the distribution and the marketing of it. And how we thought about the solution, we were, well, thinking outside the box, box and we got the box. We only thought about the box. So uh, we will have the unique indigenous wines, three of those, in a box, shipped uh, either four, eight, or 12 times per year, how you, how you choose for your own liking. It will also have the story about the winemaker that is currently producing it, about its family, and uh, food, and uh, food pairings and recipes and stories about it that you can share with your friends. So uh, the idea is to buy the wine. It's very hard to transport it from the islands and it has a lot of logistics with it, which Stefan could help me with it. So, and then we will calculate the packaging, do the branding, and sell it with the market. Uh, it will be around 130 euros per, per box. Uh, our goal is to have thousands of active subscribers by the end of the year, and uh, to uh, have an average user spending around uh, 650 euros. Also, we've done the, done the packaging, the visual, the branding and uh, we did uh, uh, we asked around 200 people uh, to give us their feedback on what is the thing about wine they like what it isn't what they don't like so we took only those um, wine varieties of the indigenous ones that are ticking all all the boxes so, yeah, uh, our next goal is to finish the mobile and desktop platform, to have everything done by this uh, 10 days for the 1st of uh, July. And then to uh, continue working on branding and marketing and to expanding our, our network. And in the long, uh, long range, our goal is to have... Uh, to go into wine production to help because all of the sorts are not being extensively used, to use them into production and to help them to invest uh, in that part. And also to organize exclusive wine tours for uh, f foreigners to get them to meet the people that make them happy, the winemakers. Uh, we're currently raising, uh, raising investments uh, our goal is to have uh, 100,000 euro in, invested in, in the business with split into development, marketing, and logistics. Uh, so, and there's a special offer for everybody here at Kenisans. Uh, when we launch, you will have a 20% discount for uh, the wine box. And also, you only eight of you, because that the capacity will be invited to the exclusive event that we will have in the second week of uh, September in Croatia. 
and that can be possible uh, without my team. Two girls in the team, you said that. Like, uh, I'm, I'm a feminist also, I have, a <laughs> I have a two girls in my team, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> Thank you, that's, that's it. <laughs> we get that covered. <laughs> yeah, you know me. You know me so much, so you already know what I do. Yeah, we were talking about it and thinking how everything will open up again, and how there will be people thinking about not only business, but also more being more compassionate, being more thinking about each other. So it will be another renaissance. At Kia, so it's a Kia Nissan. Fabulous, I loved it. I loved it. We immediately grabbed hold of it. We did. We love that one. Um, how many here are familiar with the wine box concept? Yeah. 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 Yeah.